Dear students, in this episode, I will be talking to you about the effects of hypervitaminosis. Hypervitaminosis is a condition resulting due to abnormally high storage levels of vitamins in the body. This can lead to toxic symptoms. The probable risk for the occurrence of toxicity of fat soluble vitamins could be expected to occur through the large intake of highly fortified foods since these vitamins can be stored in the body for a considerable period of time they may lead to toxicity problems but it is unlikely that foods rarely deliver such toxic levels with respect to water soluble vitamins such adverse effects are rarely seen as they cannot be stored in the body and have to be supplied on daily basis through the diet according to a study conducted by National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey between 2003 to 2006 has indicated that about 33% of the US population aged 1 year or older were found to use multivitamin supplements further in 2009 about 56% of US population was reported to consume vitamins or supplements out of which 44% responded to consume on everyday basis fat soluble vitamins have the greatest potential for causing toxicity than those of water soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins have higher ability to accumulate in the body and this could be considered as the major relative risk for developing toxicity after studying this module you would be able to understand the etiological factors involved in the occurrence of hypervitaminosis toxic effect of fat soluble vitamins toxic effects of water soluble vitamins and management of the condition etiology the major etiological factors are accidental ingestion of large doses of vitamins or excessive feeding of the food that may contain higher concentration of the particular nutrient If the food is known to contain sufficient quantities of vitamins it is certainly not necessary to provide vitamin supplements but if it is done so it may end up in harmful effects characteristic features of hypervitaminosis is usually a result of exaggerated effect on normal physiological and biochemical functions Now let us study the toxic effects of individual vitamins. Vitamin A it can be categorized as acute and chronic condition. In case of acute toxicity the major symptoms such as dizziness, headache, lassitude, irritability, abdominal pain, nausea, visual disturbances like diplopia, bulging of fontanelles might be seen in infants. other symptoms such as pruritus and whole body excoriation of skin may also occur chronic manifestations mostly involve low grade fever alopecia dry fissured lip joint pain anorexia weight loss hepatosplenomegaly pyloedema and pseudo tumor cerebri This condition can be induced by a single large dose of retinol greater than 200 mg for adults and greater than 100 mg for children. Chronic hypervitaminosis A is the result of chronic intakes which may be greater than 10 times the acceptable intake. An amount greater than 4000 RAE for infants or 7000 RAE for an adult can result in the above mentioned manifestations embryos exposed to retinol in the womb could have toxic effect this can happen with 13 cis retinoic acid this has been used for treating severe cystic acne but it has also been implicated to cause craniofacial central nervous system cardiovascular and thymic malformation in the developing fetus these malformations are thought to occur when fetuses are exposed to a daily dose of 6000 to 7500 rae of vitamin a exclusively from supplements hence pregnant women are advised 
to not to consume more than 3000 RAE of vitamin A per day. The incidences of carotenoid toxicities are very An intake of 30 mg per day has been estimated to have no side effects except for the accumulation of carotenoid in the skin. A condition called hyperkeratinodermia which is similar to jaundice may result. This condition could be very easily differentiated as it is known to affect only the skin and the sclera of the eye would be clear. The condition could be reversed through reduction in the intake of carotene. However, large mega doses of beta carotene have been reported to play a role in certain types of lung cancer particularly in smokers. Let us discuss the effects of vitamin D. Generally, it is caused by excessive ingestion along with calcium containing foods since it is known to act as a promoter for the uptake at the intestinal level. In hyperparathyroidism or malignancy of renal adenomas, sarcomas and lymphomas, an excessive amount of calcitriol will be produced. This has been suggested to be a contributing factor in the occurrence of hypervitaminosis D. Toxicity does not occur due to excessive exposure to sunlight. This is because the D3 further breakdowns into products that have not been known to have a role in the calcium metabolism. Most symptoms are due to secondary hypercalcemia along with increased bone resorption and hypercalciuria. The condition may include the symptoms such as polyuria, polydipsia, vomiting, anorexia and lethargy, dehydration, constipation, hypertension, tetany, seizures and seizures which could be fatal. Both humans as well as animals are capable of tolerating relatively high amounts of intake of about 100 times the normal requirement. At very high doses, it may impair the functioning of other fat soluble vitamins. For instance, animals that were fed large doses of vitamin E were noticed to develop impaired bone mineralization, impairment in the storage of hepatic vitamin A and prolonged blood coagulation time. However, ingestion of high doses of alpha tocopherols has been reported to affect blood clotting via inhibiting platelet aggregation resulting in subsequent damage. Vitamin E supplement associated mortalities have also been reported in several investigations. It is considered as one of the most important nutrient for reproductive efficacy in rats. Problems associated with vitamin E ingestion are only seen after a very large overdose. About 30 mg per day is the normal recommendation and harmful side effects are known to occur when the dose exceeds 1 gram per kg body weight. Excess vitamin E intake may impair the functionality of vitamin K and may result in impaired bleeding. It is also known to affect the immune system and may cause necrotic enterocolitis. Other symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, headache and gastrointestinal upset can occur. Management regime of toxicity problems include reducing the amount of vitamin that is ingested per day. Those who are on supplements must stop taking it. Moving on to study the effects of vitamin K. No adverse effects have been encountered due to the administration of neither the philoquinones nor the menaquinones. However, the synthetic form menadione can be toxic. Excessive doses might produce hemolytic anemia in rats and among infants severe jaundice may occur. So far we discussed about the adverse effects of excessive consumption of fat soluble vitamins. Now let us discuss about the water soluble vitamins. Thiamine, it is a water soluble vitamin that plays a vital role in carbohydrate metabolism and neural function. 
It is widely distributed in nature but it may be present in a very low concentration. It is present in yeast, liver and whole grains. It is predominantly found in plant foods in a free form. The information pertaining to its ability to cause toxic problems is very scarce. At massive doses that is thousand times higher than the normal requirement of the synthetic forms of thiamine hydrochloride have been noticed to induce adverse effects such as suppression of respiratory center. This condition could be fatal. Parenteral doses greater than 100 times of the normal recommended levels may cause headache, convulsions, muscular weakness, cardiac arrhythmias and allergic reactions. Other manifestations include blocks in the nerve transmission and restlessness. It may disrupt the other B vitamins, insulin and thyroid functioning. Riboflavin It is considered to be very essential for the metabolism of carbohydrates, amino acid and lipids. It is reported to support antioxidant potential. It is involved in such function as a coenzyme adenine dinucleotide. Overconsumption is known to produce fatigue, vomiting, itching, numbness and hypertension. The urine may acquire bright yellow color in cases of toxicity. Niacin Toxicity due to niacin consumption is reported to be low, but high doses of 1 to 2 mg of Na thrice a day have been proven to have side effects. Such higher doses may be used as a strategy to lower blood cholesterol concentrations. The most common side effect includes release of histamine that may cause flushing and may be harmful for patients suffering from asthma or peptic ulcer. High doses could be toxic to liver. The use of mega vitamins should be monitored carefully because they may tend to act as drugs rather than as nutritional supplements. Other symptoms such as hyperemia of skin, pruritus, gastrointestinal disturbances, acanthosis nigricans may be present. Daily ingestion of more than 3 grams niacin leads to aggravation of branchial asthma, gout and fasting hyperglycemia. Low blood pressure, lightheadedness, insomnia, liver damage, skin rashes and alteration in liver function tests have also been observed in experimental investigations. Pantothenic acid It is widely distributed in foods it takes part in various metabolic processes. It is one of the essential nutrient and an integral part of coenzyme A needed for producing energy from the macronutrients. Toxicity rarely occurs and often the symptoms are mild. None of the species have been reported to show adverse effect of ingesting large doses of pantothenic acid. A massive dose of 10 grams per day when administered to humans have been shown to produce mild intestinal distress and diarrhea and water retention in the body. Pyridoxin It is a general term used to denote several forms of 2-methyl 3,5-dihydroxymethyl pyridone derivatives possessing the activity of pyridoxin. It is primarily involved in the metabolism of amino acids. Toxic effect seems to be relatively low. Although high dosages in the range amounting to several grams per day is known to produce sensory neuropathy with marked changes in gait and peripheral sensation. The signs of pyridoxin toxicity resembles those of deficiency. As such, it is considered to be safe but a prolonged ingestion of doses over 200 micrograms per day may result in neurological disorders. Such higher doses would be recommended for treating carpal tunnel syndrome and problems associated with premenstrual syndrome. 
a daily intake of more than 2 mg is known to cause progressive ataxia, impaired vision and loss of deep tendon reflexes, perioral numbness, clumpy limbs, loss of appetite, stomach upset and skin lesions may occur. Peridoxin when taken at higher doses from food sources have not been reported to result in any adverse effect. However, long term use of supplements can cause severe form of progressive sensory neuropathy. The symptom is said to be dose dependent and usually disappear upon discontinuation of the supplements. Other manifestations of pyridoxine toxicity includes paraesthesia in the hands and feet, difficulty in walking, reduced sensation to touch, temperature and to vibration. The problems can be resolved by restricting the intake of pyridoxine containing food substances. This is known to resolve several associated problems also. Folate or the folic acid. It is very essential for preventing neural tube defects. It is also essential for the production of RBC and DNA. There are no reports of adverse effects which may have resulted due to high oral doses of folate. However, parenteral administration doses in amounts of 1000 times the normal requirement is associated with epileptic seizures in rats. It is known to react with minerals in particular with zinc. This in turn renders the zinc unavailable through the formation of non-absorbable complexes in the gut. Treatment with folate could exacerbate teratogenic effects resulting due to nutritional zinc deficiency in animals. Next is cobalamin. It refers to a family of cobalamin compounds containing porphyrin like cobalt centered corin nucleus. Cyanocobalamin and hydroxycobalamin are known to possess vitamin B12 activity. It plays an essential role in the metabolism of propionates, amino acids and single carbons. It is synthesized by gut bacteria but is said to be not absorbed preferentially. It is generally found in organ meats like kidney and liver, milk, eggs, fish, cheese and muscle meats. Overdoses of B12 are reported to cause reduction in the size of vascular controlled reflexes, palpitation, tingling sensation and numbness in the limbs. Biotin Biotin is essential for the metabolic carboxylation process. It is widely distributed in nature and its content is reported to vary significantly. Excess consumption generally causes scurfy skin due to hyperkeratosis of superficial follicular epithelium. Ascorbic acid Vitamin C or ascorbic acid is generally known to play an active role in oxidation reduction reactions and it can be synthesized by plants and animals utilizing glucose and galactose. It is found in citrus fruits, vegetables and organ meats. The vitamin content is reported to vary and depends on the conditions of growth and the degree of ripeness at the time of harvest. The only known adverse effect due to the ingestion of high doses of vitamin C is the formation of oxalic acid crystals in the kidney and uricosuria. Rebound scurvy may occur in the developing fetus when large mega doses are ingested by pregnant women. High doses of vitamin C may also impair the absorption of vitamin B12. It can also cause imbalance in healthy antioxidant and pro-oxidant power in the body. In patients suffering from thalassemia or hemochromatosis, it may lead to increased iron overload. RBC fragility would be increased due to which premature infants are known to develop hemolytic anemia. Patients with known history of oxalic acid stones should avoid consuming large amounts of vitamin C containing foods. Excess ascorbic acid is usually excreted through urine. This can give rise to a false positive urinary glucose test. Management Usually controlled by restriction of dietary intake. 
discontinuation of the ingestion of implicated vitamin in the form of supplements or from natural food sources usually leads to resolution of the problems. Intoxication may still persist for weeks after vitamin ingestion is terminated. Hence, it is suggested to continue the restricted intake of that particular vitamin for a considerable period of time. To know whether the body pools have dropped to safe levels, the patients can undergo thorough biochemical examination in order to evaluate the biochemical status. Now let us summarize today's episode. Hypervitaminosis is a condition resulting due to abnormally high storage levels of vitamins in the body. The major etiological factors are accidental ingestion of large doses of vitamins or excessive feeding of the food that may contain higher concentration of the particular nutrient. Vitamin A toxicity can be induced by a single large dose of retinol greater than 200 mg for adults and greater than 100 mg for children. Chronic hypervitaminosis A is the result of chronic intakes which may be greater than 10 times the acceptable intake. Hypervitaminosis D is considered as a progressive intoxication and individuals vary in their susceptibility to develop the condition. Except for thiamine, riboflavin, niacin and ascorbic acid, other water soluble vitamins are not known to induce any adverse effect. The condition can be promptly treated by the discontinuation of the consumption of the particular vitamin. Thank you dear students.